long and I just want to be able to do the cute little clip lovely relaxer because if you guys didn't know part my hair this is where I normally wear my Hey guys, hey y'all, so long time no see. I am back. A lot has been going on in my life, so much, but I'm back now and I'm back for good. Um, I just got back from Target, but I wanted to show you guys the new addition on the wall. We're going to have a magazine cover wall here, so I'm excited. I had something like this in one of my old bedrooms. I say one of because we move around a lot my mom loves change so in one of my old rooms I had that but I bought not bought I brought these um, yellow decal pieces from my house when I went home this past weekend and I just like stuck them up there I have one more that you guys see on my bed that I need to stick up there but I'm just trying to add some things to the wall I'm thinking about getting a poster and putting it up over there I had a pumpkin spice latte earlier today and it gave me life it was so good I wanted to show y'all what I got from Target. Fancy, fancy bag. Because y'all know I love going to Target and some things. So, I think I got it to the point. But I got a few things, quite a few things from Target. So, I got this top. It is a workout top. She's cute. This is a size small. She's just got the ruching in the front and she's navy blue and she's long sleeve because it's getting cold outside and I need stuff to be able to wear to the gym because I've been going to the gym every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and hopefully tomorrow I can take you guys along with me but for today's vlog I just wanted to show you guys what I got and I'm going to be taking my braids out and we're going to be relaxing my hair at college so we're going to see how that goes but um, I got some hair clips for my hair just because my natural hair is pretty long and I just want to be able to do the cute little clip hairstyles. I got the mini ones as well as these bigger clamps that I can just put my hair up easily without putting an actual scrunchie on my hair because scrunchies are very hard on the hair. So I didn't want to have to deal with that. And then I also got this dark and lovely relaxer because if you guys didn't know, my hair is relaxed, but we're going to be using it today. I also got some boxer briefs. I'm excited about these because I, for one, just like my clothes to be loose and breathable, especially at nighttime. And I think these will just be perfect to walk around my dorm in, to have a big t-shirt on and these and go to the bathroom with no problem. And I got a men's razor. I tried waxing. I have very sensitive skin, like extremely sensitive skin. And the waxing was okay. I think I just didn't do the aftercare process the right way. And um, I'm going to try shaving one more time. And if it doesn't work out, then we're just going to try waxing or I'm not going to do waxing again because I know that's too harsh for my skin. I'll try sugaring but for now I'm just going to try the shaving and this is a five blade razor. It's men's. It's sharp. It's new so this is going to get the job done. I also got some makeup remover wipes because being in the bathroom for 10 to 15 minutes trying to wash off my makeup is just not it anymore. So I just got these so that I can remove the makeup first and then go into the bathroom and wash my face. And the facial wash that I got was this CeraVe, um, CeraVe, however you pronounce it, hydrating facial cleanser. This has been out of stock for weeks at my Target at school, so I finally got my hands on it. Hopefully it's good. It, my skin is very dry right now. I needed something hydrating. I've been using an oatmeal bar cleanser, and I just feel like that hasn't really been hydrating my skin, so I'm going to try this out. And then, oh, I also got a new sports bra. I got it in a size large because it said it could fit a 36D. So, and that's the size that I am, a 36D or a 34 or 32 double D. So, I just got this sports bra. It's black and it kind of matches the top. And I'm going to work out tomorrow. And I'm going to be showing you guys. So, I want it to look kind of cute while I work out. Um, 
And I also got this Master Cleanse um, scalp treatment. It's a targeted scalp wash and I'm so excited to use this because my scalp, I'm pretty sure I have psoriasis in my scalp and this is just really going to help. It has witch hazel water, eucalyptus oil, and tea tree oil which are also really great ingredients for dry skin so I know this is going to be great. And the three um, descriptive words in the byline are cleanse, freshen, and balance and that's exactly what I need. I needed to cleanse, freshen, and balance my scalp area. So I'm excited to use this. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying not to scratch my hair because I'm about to put a relaxer in. And then the last item that I got was this Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. Um, this is the oil I got. This is by the Miel brand. It's a black owned brand and I'm so excited to use this. It's infused with rosemary, mint, and biotin to invigorate the hair and scalp to encourage healthier, stronger, longer hair while providing shine and smoothing split ends. So this is going to help my hair. It's great for all hair types and textures. So I'm going to use this to condition my dry scalp in these cold winter months and hopefully it'll be a good treatment. So that's everything that I got from Target. I have to go to Scott's um, Traditions to go pick up my food, my dinner. I ordered seared salmon, brown rice, broccoli, bell peppers, yum yum sauce. Um, what else did I get? I think that's everything, but it's like a Buddha bowl. That's what it was under the category. So we're going to see if it's good. Hopefully it's good. I'm praying it's good because I'm kind of hungry. So I'm going to walk over there. It's getting, it's actually dark outside. So I'm going to call my friend Hazi and see if she'll walk with me. But I'm not going to take you guys because you guys have been to the dining hall with me before. I don't want to be too repetitive with my vlogs. I just want to stick to this being about taking out these braids and like talking to you guys. And yeah, so... I'm just going to go get my food, eat, and then I'll be back and I'll talk to you guys about all of my hair goals and stuff like that. And yeah, so I'll see you guys later. Ooh, this is cool. Well, I just wanted to show you guys. I'm going to switch it back. Okay. I just wanted to show you guys the um, top that I got. So it just looks like this. She's ruched. Super cute. Navy blue. And she's a breathable material, so when you work out, it'll be a vibe. So I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow when I go work out. But I'm about to start taking these braids out because, child, I need to take these out. Looking very much so dusty. Okay, so <laughs> I already cut the braids on this side. Um... Yeah, so now I'm cutting the braids on this side. So the key, the key is to cut so that it makes it easier to take the braids out. Because you don't want to be taking them out from like the complete bottom. And my hair is much longer now, so I'm trying to be careful to not cut them too short. Like, let's say if for instance, if I was to take this braid out, just going through and the good thing is my nails are long so all you have to do is go like this like that like so Hold on. all I have to do is put my nail braid and it just does all the work for me so I'm actually kind of glad that my nails are done but they're knotless so and they're feeding so there's going to be hair that comes out as you do it and I'm trying to see where my hair is because I can't tell <laughs> where my hair is so hopefully I didn't cut this too short because if so then that means I cut my hair and I will be really sick if I cut my hair But guys, oh, I was worried for nothing. The braid is literally all the way up here.
Make. <laughs> As you guys can see, there's a lot of gunk up at the root. That is um, nasty. But anyway. <laughs> It is currently 2 a.m., okay? I'm pretty sure it's like 2.30 in the morning. And I just literally took out the last braid that was in my hair. So, now I'm going to brush it and begin applying the relaxer to my hair. So, let's see how this goes. Currently 2.37. I'm praying, oh, and I got a new phone. I don't know if I told you guys, but I got a new phone. But that's my base fear, like I, would absolutely hate to put these chemicals in my hair and something happened like that tragic but look at all this hair child look at her look at all this hair oh and my cuban link necklace came today and i put it on so i could see what it looked like but i should probably take it off because i don't want to shower with this on for those of you <laughs> that are new here, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Lee. I make all content related to college life and everything extraordinary, classy, bougie, and ratchet, okay? Right now, we're about to put this dark and lovely, triple nourished silk name relaxer into my hair because I... Um, straighten my hair a lot and my hair was heat trained I've gone natural twice now um, my hair was heat trained it was a beautiful time but life is a little bit different for me now and wearing my hair natural is just not a current desire although I absolutely love the natural sisters and what you guys do for culture and all that good stuff but that is just not for me um not for the lifestyle that i live it's just very time consuming and i am all for a steal okay i can steal more time in my day and i'm gonna do my hair then i'm gonna do it because this right here babe is not it okay things that it's not is it so the whole point of a relaxer is for you to mix this part which is the cream with this part which is the wait a minute I'm glad this has numbers because I was about to mix the wrong stuff together um, okay so every relaxer comes with a cream portion a activator portion but every single relaxer comes with a paper for you to open okay, like, like they like so because that's your business and then it comes with gloves which is so important because you do not want these chemicals on your skin but because I am in the dorm I am going to have to rinse this relaxer out in the shower because what I'm not going to do is bend over in that sink and try to rinse this out it's just not happening so Yes, so the directions are on this paper with the gloves. Okay, so one, 
relaxer cream and activator must be added so like i said i was right so this is the cream activator and it's supposed to be added to this so we're gonna do that right now my well not the first one but 12 years of her life she was a cosmetologist she did nails in here so we have the contents inside of here now so the white stuff is the activator and the pink stuff is the cream and we're just gonna mix it okay you're gonna mix it very well now a lot of people have the um, misconception that relaxed hair equals not healthy hair like if you get a relaxer your hair is automatically not healthy and that's not true there are plenty of people who are also natural that don't have healthy hair healthy hair is relative to how well you take care of it how well you take care of your insides as well are you drinking water are you making sure you're getting your right supplements and vitamins are you making sure to moisturize and condition your scalp are you making sure that you are getting um, a trim regularly these are things that pertain to both relaxed and natural hair so and I just think our community should just be a lot nicer to people um, in general just because we are all individuals and we have every right to do whatever we deem best fit for our hair and for me my hair has been natural in both states um, I mean my hair has been healthy in both states natural and relaxed um, my hair straightens just the same natural and relaxed it's just that when now that my hair is relaxed and it's not even completely relaxed it's like text laxed um, which is a texturized relaxer and that means we don't leave it on nearly as long so that we can maintain somewhat of a curl pattern or like a natural wave to our hair instead of getting it bone straight um, like some people do with the relaxer so yes and the difference between a relaxer and a perm, most people use the perm in the white community, in the Caucasian community, because a perm can make your hair curly. So it just depends on who you're around and what kind of treatment you're getting. So, But this is a relaxer. But yeah, I just think that the black community and um, should be a lot nicer to each other about the things that we do to our hair because everyone's hair is different. Everyone's lifestyle is different. Um, what works for one person may not work for another and I think a lot of parents should be conscious of the decisions that their children want to make because just because one of your children is relaxed doesn't mean all of them necessarily need to be relaxed I think you should cater um, the treatments and things that you do to each specific child so I know for me I was kind of upset that my mom relaxed my hair as a child because I wanted at one point in my sixth grade year which is crazy to me my sixth grade year I decided that I wanted to go natural myself and she has specialized in relaxed hair for decades so this was something new to her she didn't know how to do natural hair so I was literally trying to do my own natural hair by myself and it was just a nightmare y'all a nightmare I was going to school I was looking crazy 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 so, yeah, I mean, it's sad. It's very sad <clears throat> when I think about it because if I could go back, I would give myself a hug. I would, I would love on myself and tell myself that you are beautiful. Your natural curls are beautiful. And I, I know now that my natural curls are beautiful. And if I chose tomorrow to go natural, I would be totally fine and comfortable with wearing my natural hair. It's just that it serves me well at this time to have a relaxer just because it's easiest. So, um, and I like the way my hair moves um, and it lasts a lot longer, especially in the climate that I live in. The weather is constantly changing. It's literally summer, spring, fall, and winter within the same week. I'm not lying, I'm from Cincinnati, Ohio. I live in Columbus now for school. It's pretty much the same here in Ohio. It's, it's pretty much the same. Like, you get every season sometimes within one day. It was raining today. It felt like winter in the morning. It was kind of hot at one point. I'm just like, this is too much. I don't know what season you're giving me since Columbus, but you need to figure it out. Because I wore slides, gym shoes, 
and rain boots in the same day and I just feel like that's a problem I look at my hair with the lights on this is not natural this is a uh, crinkles from the braids so this is not my hair my curl pattern by any means so what I'm gonna do is section off my hair I'm gonna start in the back um, and then I'm gonna work my way to the front I need to find a rat tail comb that is the most important part to this entire process and I don't see one purchased these colorful clips off of Amazon um, when I first moved to school well before I moved to school and I'm going to be using these to section off my hair this part right here is important and I mean that with my whole heart okay because this is where I part my hair this is where I normally wear my hair down the middle that's where I wear my part so I want to make sure that this is as flat as possible. So I'm going to tie this hair off with the clip for now. And I'm going to apply my gloves. I look kind of crazy. Now before I even start applying this to anywhere, I'm going to make sure that my cart to go to the shower is ready to go. So inside of the cart, I have that deep conditioning um, scalp treatment that I showed you guys earlier and I'm gonna also put this ultra moisturizing shampoo as well as this detangling and conditioning conditioner these are both by cream of nature these are my favorite products to use on my hair it makes it so silky and soft and it just is perfect I literally don't even really need any products to put in my hair after I wash it when I'm ready to blow dry it and straighten it it's literally perfect I've done it without products and with products last just as a great amount of time and then I also have a towel for my hair I got this from Target like a couple years ago came in a two pack with this one as well as an all white one and you just put it over your hair when you're done in the shower, you do this side back first, and then you twist it around, and then you attach the little thing that's in the back, so. <laughs> girl, every young African-American girl who's ever gotten a relaxer, I feel like we all go through this anxiety right before, it's 3 a.m. now. Y'all, it's 3 a.m., but, um, we all go through this anxiety right before we start to get a relaxer. Um, it's just, it's inevitable. So I have my rat tail comb, okay? We have our relaxer. Started. So you're gonna apply it and apply it and press down. I'm gonna apply and press down. This way it stretches the root so I'm applying and pressing down so that it can work its magic
currently 4 a.m. and I just finished my hair like I just got out of the shower shaved and everything and I just put my hair in this little scrunchie it's loose it's not really putting any stress or like straining my hair and I just slicked it down and I put that hair oil I showed you guys earlier in my hair and now I'm about to lay down because I have to work out in the morning um yeah, I have to wake up in exactly two hours so that I can be ready to go for my workout with Tania. <sighs> literally like upset with myself, but the bun is getting bigger because the hair is getting longer and we love to see it. So I'll see you guys in the A. Ew, baby. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. Hope you smile when you listen.